We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Here now the 2-2. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. J.D. Davis the next to bat. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg. He's four for 14. He also has one home run. In the air to straightaway right. Thames is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So here's Jeff That's McNeil. Perfect. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. One and one, here it is. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a two out double. That is cool. The first baseman. He at the plate, Pete Alonso. Hit hard to third. Cabrera with a sliding stop. He's up with it. The throw. What a play. Into the box now, Trey Turner. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1 1 home. Is strike two swinging. Syndergaard has racked up over 70 innings on the mound, and in that time, he's compiled a whip under 1.3. And this will get through into left for a leadoff hit. So now to the plate, Adam Eaton. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Here's Howie Kendrick. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. It is a sinker that misses for a ball. Three and one to Howie Kendrick. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Juan Soto to the plate now. Batting average for him on the season, standing in the 320s entering action today. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Turner at third, Eaton on second, Kendrick on at first with nobody out. Hit in the air down the left field line. After it is Cespedes. And he makes the catch in the corner. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. So first and second with one man gone. And in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. A 1-1 home. Line drive, fair ball down the line. Now this will rattle up against the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. He's in at second safely, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. The third base to the plate now as Dribble Cabrera. One and two now as that one's fouled off. High and deep to straightaway right. 
And that is off the wall. A run in. Here's a second runner around third. He will score as they push the lead to five now. Paul Seawald comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Stepping in now, Ryan Zimmerman. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here, three and one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Line toward right center, and that's in there. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 6 nothing ball game. At the plate now, Steven Strasburg. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Second inning set to go, and up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by... Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him, so he'll head down to first on the hit-by-pitch. So digging in now, Wilson Ramos. And the count will be full. Nobody out, runner on first. And another foul ball. The next 3 2. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. None out. Runners at first and second. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Three and one to the Mets left fielder. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. That's in there. Base hit. Conforto rounds the corner and is headed home. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will beat the throw safe at the plate. And they're on the board. It's a six to one game now. The center fielder, number 15. At the plate, Jake Marisnik. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Batting now to the plate, the pitcher, the Paul Seawall. Paul Seawall. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And he pops up the bunt attempt. And they're to bring it in as Cabrera for route number two. Now in the box, Ahmed Rosario looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 2 1. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Ramos rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the runner will score from second. And he is in there. And he's in safely to third as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Now batting the third baseman, J.D. Into the box, J.D. Davis grounded down the third baseline. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. That misses, and we're even at two and two. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired.
Last half of the second set to go. And stepping up is the shortstop. Trey Turner, one of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And a good bite to that slider as he swings now through it for the first out of the fielder. inning. Something Inter. has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Line drive, base hit to right. The bat, the second baseman. Howie. Throw over to the bag. And a dive, but he's back. In now, Howie Kendrick. On the move is Eaton. Pitch outside the throw. He's right on time for Ramos to be credited with a caught stealing. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Juan Soto would be next. There's ball four. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. 2-2. Two, two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over. Next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Thames is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And the next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Keith Alonzo. Alonzo. Now the one and one pitch. Line drive to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. At the plate, Michael Conforto. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Trying to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And this will be fouled away. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So a runner at first with two away. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. 1-1. One, one. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a 2-2. Two and two. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Strike three called and the inning is over. Justin Wilson is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Bottom of the third now and digging in is the outfielder Eric Thames. The 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Wilson is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Even count two balls and two strikes. Now here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. 
In now for Washington, Kurt Suzuki. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now the three and two pitch. That's popped up. Alonzo has room in foul territory. And no one will track it down. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. And that retires the side. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Joanna Cespedes. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball hit to Turner. It's short. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Here's Jake Marisnik. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin now inning back. number four. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Justin Wilson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Striding in now for the Nats, Ryan Zimmerman. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. One one home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hard liner but picked up on a hop and a good throw gets him one gone. So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the pitcher Steven Strasburg. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Count still at one and two. Pitch on the way. Six runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. So two are gone now in the Nationals fourth. And that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. Two out, nobody on. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Digging in once again, Ahmed Rosario. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Strasburg on one and one. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Now a 
swing and a foul tip, but it's held on to by Suzuki. A nice job there as they record the strikeout. Third base. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Hit on the ground out to short. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Jerry Spamilia, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 27. Adam Eaton digging in next. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. One gone for the Nationals in the fifth. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. A bouncer to the left side. Rosario brings it in. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. So here's the cleanup hitter, Juan Soto. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Three balls and a strike to the Nationals' left fielder. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. And that misses two and one. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Hit hard down the left field line, but this is foul near the seats. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. A 1 1. He's taken high above the zone. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. Well, that's ball three, and the Mets right now would take a leadoff guy on any way they could get it. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now better. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Here's the 2-1 home. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Swung on and chopped up the middle to second for one. On to first, a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Wilson Ramos. The one-two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And that ends the inning.
Edwin Diaz enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 39. Edwin. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. The 2 1 home doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Hit high and deep to right center. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. One out, nobody on. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Due next, there's Ryan Zimmerman. Now the three and two pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Mariznik is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So two are gone now for Ryan Zimmerman. Zimmerman. A little bit outside. Two and one. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. The 3 1. Seared down the first baseline. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. He'll get it into second. The pitcher, 37. He's there. So now to the plate, Steven Strasburg. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fouled off. This one's down to third. Davis grabs it cleanly. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next it'll be the outfielder, Yoannis Cespedes. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy. And Yoannis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Number 16, Jake Marisnik. To the plate now, Jake Marisnik. And he fouls this one off. A runner at second, nobody out. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Cespedes is on his way home. Safe at the play as they now trail by only two. Austin Voss comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Robinson Cano will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 24, Robinson Cano. No one out with a runner at second. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And a 
good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Into right field, that's a base hit. The throw home. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. The batter, number one, shortstop Ahmed Rosario. Stepping in now, Ahmed Rosario fouled away. The one two on the ground to the right side. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next to the bat, the third baseman. At the plate, J.D. Davis. Davis. Hit high and deep to right center. Long run for the right fielder, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Cano rounds the corner and is headed home. He is safe at the plate, and they've tied it. Daniel Hudson comes on now and he'll take over with nobody number out in inning number seven. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Nationals. Number 44, Daniel. Standing in now, Jeff McNeil. Swing and a looper to left. And the Mets just keep right on rolling as this is good for extra bases as well. And the insurance run comes across to score from third. Into the box now, Pete Alonzo. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. Trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. Still only one out in the inning. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad bat will continue. The 2 2 one more time. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. This is popped up. Kendrick shading to his right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Over two for him to this point. The 2 2. Weak roller right side. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Dylan Vitensis gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and in the bat is Trey Turner. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Two and one, the count to Trey Turner. Hit down the third baseline. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. In now is Adam Eaton. He's one for two in the ball game. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. Hit in the air out to center field. Mariznick is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now with the plate, now Howie back. Kendrick. Second he got on base. top of one and was Howie. a ground out victim last time. Kendrick. 
But Sanchez is ready. Here's a 1 1. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Ryan Harper has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 33. Yuena Cespeda striding in next. So far, two for three in this one. The one two gets him looking up around the letters. Next up from New York, Jake Marisnik. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Marisnik. A one one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Cabrera with a sliding stop. He's out. Eduardo Nunez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the mat. Number 12, Eduardo Nunez. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And the pitch. Fouled off. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Hops this one up. Zimmerman in foul ground. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Your Brad Brock is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 29. Brad leading off the inning Juan Soto and they'll need him to get something going here a one one every ball club has that spark plug guy and this is the guy right here he usually ignites a lot of productive innings the two one home oh that's off the plate He bailed him out with a swing three and two now. Time run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Cespedes is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Ready for another shot now. Eric Thames. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the one and one pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Three one count tying run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Pulled toward right center field. Marisnik is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. Striding in, Kurt Suzuki. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Rowena Salias enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ahmed Rosario. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. 
That was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 two -two pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Now he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Number four. Stepping into the box, Jeff McNeil will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Popped up. Cabrera has got it, and the side is retired. Seth Lugo enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 67. Striding in to start the ninth as Dribble Cabrera as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And he fouls this one off. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. Ball and two strikes to Cabrera. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they'd gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at-bat. They've locked horns. Here's the next offering. Popped him up. Davis is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping up now, now Ryan Zimmerman. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And Zimmerman will watch this one miss for ball four. Starlin Castro will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Marisnik. He gets there, and that's the second out. Here now is Trey Turner. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Last strike now for the Nats. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. He's got it, and the Mets have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Man, with your leading by six runs, you can't let that slip away. 
they were thinking about the celebration in the clubhouse a little too early, and now the other guys are celebrating in that other dugout. This one's going to sting for a long time. Eight to six, the final score tonight. The Mets jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Edwin Diaz claims the win out of the pen his first. Seth Lugo earns the save out of the bullpen his 14th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Eight runs, nine hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Nationals, six runs, seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.